Howdy, howdy, folks, and happy Taco Tuesday! Welcome back to the channel. A train here with you for another episode of Project Hospital as we work our way through campaign number two. Project Hospital currently available on Steam from Oxymoron Games. Fantastic uh, builder, management, and get to play doctor. So, three games in one kind of deal. Make sure to go check it out. I recommend you get all the add-ons with it so uh, it is very worth the value lots of fun so hope you enjoy it as much as we do and let's get into this here as we are working to get ourselves uh, up and running with an intensive care unit so uh, as you look at uh, this is the challenge two hospital we've achieved the first two objectives which was uh, fix up the layout so it's more efficient and we treated 20 patients then we uh, achieved objective two, which was um, to get uh, 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 make a profit one day. Now we have to be profitable for three days. Well, there's been a lot of rearranging and stuff. I probably could have done that, but eh, I, I just I had to make things more efficient and more organized. So, um, again, so our main building is here and our ER annex is here. Now, level one is the ER clinic and then labs here. Level one over here is uh, the trauma center. And then you got doctors, uh, doctor's office, nurses station, and uh, a room for the staff to relax and chill. On uh, level two, on the main building, we've got all our internal medicine now consolidated in one location and then the wards are here this is the regular ward this is the high dependency unit ward uh, then we also have a break room and restroom facilities along with a janitor station over here in the annex currently we have observation on two uh, closet and restroom and then a nurse's station this is all going to well the nurse's station will stay put Observation is going to be moved up to three. We got the IC or the uh, IM internal medicine stuff moved out of here. That's going to be come observation. And then uh, we're going to build an intensive care unit in this place right here on two. Everything now with a convenient elevator to uh, expedite uh, any switching uh, between floors needed. Because when we first started this scenario, the ambulance would drop off a patient here. They literally had to go through the first building, across into this elevator, upstairs. They had to go around a janitor's closet and down to one of the two trauma rooms, which one was here, one was here. It made no sense whatsoever. So we fixed all that stuff. And if we go up to three on the main building, um, we have radiology all consolidated up here where we have uh, x-ray, CAG, we have a sonogram room, which is new, sonography, uh, CT, and MRI. We have a pharmacy, which we didn't have before. Uh, we have a break room down here, and we're going to be putting in a classroom so our staff can improve their uh, skills. All right? So there's the plan. Now, the issue is we're a little light on cash here, so I'm not sure how... Well, we're going to do we'll probably have to uh, make our loan a little bit bigger. We do have some equipment we can use in our uh, storage closet here. So we're going to be looking to put that into play, get that into the game. Uh, if you can avoid um, selling stuff or buying stuff that's Department of Redundancy Department, basically when you're doing the redesign, if you can copy and paste from one place to another, that's the way to do it. Now, if you've been watching... Uh, the past episodes, you've seen, like, we couldn't copy and paste and move this whole department right here because beds are occupied, okay? 
But there is a way to get people out of this bed and say, move them to this bed. Just like there will be a way to get this lady out of this bed and move her to a different bed because we're going to move this whole unit upstairs. Okay. Um, which in doing so is probably going to cause this to get inactivated as the zone will no longer have everything required. And then they'll bring a transport and they'll move her up to the new location topside. And that's all good. But for now, what I want to do is do this. Uh, this is the trick right here. So Dana here is occupying at least one of the beds I need to move. She's contesting somewhere else in the hospital right now. So to move this room, it's going to be a little bit complicated with the fact that Dana's there. But maybe it's not. So here's what we need to look at. We're going to want to put in. Basically, we're going to copy and actually cut and paste these two beds. And we'll put them side by side up here. All right. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. It makes sense to me. Uh, we do have another option. Uh, and that is we expanded the ER room by one tile to make it feasible for uh, three beds to be in the trauma zone, tra trauma center. I, I, I can speak. Okay. So we could make an addition up here. It'll probably be after the fact that we after we move that. Uh, or we could just do it now. That might actually make sense. Um, build foundations. So if we did this here, that puts foundation there. We put a wall around it. And then we can do the same thing here. And build a wall around it. Now, eventually, we may well add out here and move that elevator out one tile, which is going to change some things up and actually make it a little easier, I think. I mean, adding space always makes things easier. Okay. So it works out kind of good. Um, let's just look at these exterior walls. What the heck did they do here? Did they do this? I don't think that's what they did. What did they do here? Well, you know what? Actually, if you want to, if you want to copy the walls like this wall here, you click on the eyedropper, and then you come over here and say, "Oh, we're on three. We need to drop down to two. Okay. Okay. And if we do that, oh, look, it matches. Well, that's just swell. All right. So now. Let's uh, go upstairs. And for some reason, we've got ex interior walls on the exterior. That looks kind of stupid, but whatever. If it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. Well, maybe they made it to make it look pretty. I don't know. I kind of don't care. Nope, no, 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 no. All right, that's good enough. So now what we've done is uh, given ourselves a place where we can expand the space for observation and for uh, ICU. The only thing we need to do here, which isn't really pressing, but we'll do it just to get it done. I think that's, yeah, the right number of tiles. Okay, cool. Got the right tile style. All right, so uh, I see you, hmm, brown, this. Cool, that works. Now, this is why it helps to have all your walls matching up. Unfortunately, these don't. And uh, whatever. Okay. So now to copy this, we're actually going to cut it. So we're going to start here. We're going to go like this. And then we're going to come out. Now someone's moving using that machine. Okay. We're going to come right here. Boom. There's one. 
And then we're going to come over here and do the same thing again with this piece. We come out three tiles. We could come all the way across, I guess. But I, I don't want to necessarily nuke this. Okay, so now this is observation. That is an ER department. And we'll come over here, see observation room. Okay. And we're going to work this over. Now, one, two, three, that's for the next bed. And then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That could put us five beds in observation. So let's check it again. So three tiles wide for each bed space, right? So there's four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that leaves enough space, really, 10, 11, 12. But there's only one tile left. We don't want that, okay? We want to make sure that we have the exact number and we want to leave room for the nurse's station. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. All right. Now, it says missing equipment, and that's all well and good. We're going to relocate the equipment up there. And that's where we kind of nuke this, okay? So... This is going to be a little bit goofy, but not a lot. Well, it's going to be kind of goofy. The thing is, we got to make sure that nobody's using the piece we need uh, so we can copy it or we can cut and paste it. So we're going to go back to this. And we're going to take all this upstairs. There's a door there. Uh, you know something? I want that door lined up with the hallway. Perfect. Okay, there's that. Now, what we can do is actually do the same thing again. And we're just going to scoot this over. And then we can put more schmutz there. Now, down on this side, we need to back this wall up one tile. So we'll just take that. And do that now that wall is blocking use of that machine and that's fine we just do this and take it out boom okay now we have everything we need in this room this room is good to go at this point we can actually go ahead and just uh do this and that closes the room in okay that's good to go and then what we'll be able to do is trans those two patients will get transferred up here. Cool. So then uh, we're going to need to create a new nurse's station. And to do that, we're going to need some of this equipment here. So we're going to take this. And we're going to put it here, like that. I wonder if I want to put a doorway. Hmm. I wonder if I want to put a doorway on this end. That would seem to make sense, wouldn't it? Make it easier to get in and out of there. Just had to line up 
a, G, a job for tomorrow. All right. So I think I'm going to put this here. Let me get the seat to go with it. Let me get the seat to go with it. There you go. And then we're going to drop back down. And then we're going to get a second nurse's desk. And put this here. And then we're going to get this and move it the. So now we got two. So what we do here, this is going to be, again, this is observation. That's fine. And this is nurse's station. Okay. Now this is going to, this is going to need equipment. I think. Yes, we do. We do, we do, we do. We have this cabinet here, which if we turn this way, I think we can rotate like this and do that we have this cabinet here and then we can do that so then we got a handle we got a sink in the in the space uh we don't need any of that so there's the there's the important stuff now we click on this we'll see what we got to have um does a scrub shelf take care of it does not poop. Okay. So we'll put that there. All right. So we need an equipment cabinet. Now I'm actually going to see if I can cannibalize one from another location. There's a bunch. There's a couple there. We really don't need all those. Um, any chance we've got an extra one laying in an office or something that doesn't need it? Because it's already got other stuff like this. Hmm. So this has a cabinet here, but it also has cabinets here. See the equipment cabinets here in the wall mounted equipment cabinet? That means this place does not need this cabinet. And where are we? We're on two. We're going to kick over here to three. And we're going to rotate this way. And plunk that right there. And that fix, fix that problem. Okay. Now we need a stretcher. Well, guess what we got laying all over the hospital? Stretchers. Put that there. We're going to put a meal tray. Uh, right there, I think. And a wheelchair. Wheelchair. Right there. Beautiful. That takes care of what we absolutely have to have. Now, the one other thing I said I wanted to do here, and I don't think we need two doors for this. I think we could just do one. Um, would just be a, well, I mean, I guess we could do a double door like that. I think that'll hook this up. And then we just need the flooring here actually we're going to use this here and do this here and then we're going to do this here and then do this here and then we're going to do this here is that the right direction it is cool all right so there's that so now uh we are going to need a nurse up here let me check the so we got a day shift nurse and a night shift nurse here <laughs> uh we're gonna leave them put and so those people will get let me actually he can do patient transfers okay good so I think we're good to go. Wait a minute. Do we have a defibrillator on the wall or do we have a crash cart? We have a crash cart. It's right there. I can see it. So we have a crash cart and it has a, a defibrillator sitting on top of it. You got to have a defibrillator in the space. And so we've got that. We're good to go. Mm-hmm. I likes it. 
I like it a lot. All right, cool. So let's just come over here then uh, to this space and we're gonna need to hire a day shift nurse. Uh, we've got some options here. Uh, it's gonna cost us money, but that's okay. We need to see what these people got going on. These two are drunks and she's freaking useless. So she's she's out. So it's between these two. He's he's an expert. Spartan all needs to reduce slower, but he has a depressed uh, modifier. He is a clinic nurse, uh, clinical nurse specialist, and his patient care is very high. I almost feel like he should be on nights. And in feeling he should be on nights, what I'm saying is. He might should be covering the ICU. Now, Sarah Collier needs training. You know what? We're going to put John on days. We'll put Sarah on. Well, no, we get one more option here. I don't want to reveal. He's got clean feet, which is great. I, don't, I need to see what he's got. Now, that's that's stupid. He's a germaphobe. Now, he's an intern. Patient care is 19%. We don't need someone who's qualified as a receptionist anyway. She's barely qualified. He's actually higher in his patient care than she is in hers. So we're going to put him on night shift. All right. So now uh, let's make sure that he is on patient transfers and he can do patient transfers as well. Boom, boom. They're all good. So now hopefully both of them will go get busy and get the people from downstairs and move them up here. Now she is actually out for testing. I think this is the doc. Doctor, yes. Patients be transferred to a new room. This is good. Observation room, room. She's gonna get transferred. All right, sweet. That's going to bring her up here. And that's fine. So again, we broke the room. So someone's just going to come transfer her upstairs. Now, in us waiting for that, what we can do is come over here and do our little cut and paste deal. Boop, boop, and boop. We do need to take out one tile of this wall. Cool. Okay. So now that's done. Now, uh, we're going to have one additional space. We can do that later. This bed's not cheap. That's like three grand. So once we get this lady transferred, um, Items. Put that there. That's basically got everything out of the unit except for the hand sanitizer, which we'll move up next to this door. Well, we can't put it there. Uh, well, we can put it there temporarily. Let's move this here. We move this here because the bed's going to be there. And then we move this up. Boink. And boink. Coo. Actually, this could probably move. Is that in front of the chart, the board? It is. So. Cool. All right, so now we just got to get this lady moved here. Somebody should be on the way to move her. Patient's being transferred to a new room. That's what I want to see. Someone grab a wheelchair. We got one right here. Got one right there, too. Got wheelchairs. Ah, here we go. Someone came and got it. Who is this is transferring her? Female nurse... Okay, she's Linda Coles from down in the ER. 
All right, cool. Uh, all right, that sets that up. Now we got this. So now we copy this and we bump it up here. Boom. Done. That's how you do it. All right, that's how you get stuff moved. So now to clear this space out, actually, we don't need to clear it out. If I see you, we can just build it in. So now we have cleared that out. Boom, that is dezoned. Now, next step, I think we'll just stick with the four bed. Well, wait a minute, we've got an option here because there's two tiles there. Uh, let me do this. We are going to actually open this up for this additional space. We'll spin it this way. So I see what I'm doing. Take that out, that out, that out, and that out. So this is going to open up. I mean, we could keep that closet. We could actually span. I don't anticipate we're going to need four ICU beds. So for now, you know what? We may just put, oh, well, that's not adding a wall, it's removing. So for now, whoops, that just got rid of some stuff. That's okay. Uh, for now, All right, so we got that stuff there. One more thing, detail thing here we need to do. Well, there's a couple. Okay, whoa, hello, boom. And then we need this wall here. And there, that's all we need. Okay, cool. I see you, intensive care unit. So that's this group. Here. Oh, you know what? We're going to need an ICU doctor, too. <laughs> this is going to get expensive. We're going to need to change over this um, room from one department to the next, and that's okay. We can transfer the personnel if we need to. I think we're going to need an on-call doc. So let's go here. Yeah, we are. That sucks. Okay. Hospitalization. Okay, let me switch to this real quick. Hmm. You know what? We do have, yeah, see, we already have a janitor's closet over here. So this one can be specific to ICU. Then we would need to transfer Christopher and Christopher, the Chris and Chris show. We would need to transfer them to ICU. All right, but first, uh, we're in a bit of a sticky wicket. Wait a minute. Did I freaking for? Oh, wait, I just, okay, never mind. I'm good. We have this computer and desk. That's going to be for the uh, on call room for the doctors. Okay. Move Sebastian to that side. Okay. Now, down here, we're going to have to clear out this space. Although we can use the TV, we can use the couch. I think we'd be okay. Actually, we just rearrange that room. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. We can move this into the ICU. So let's do this. We're going to set up a, wait, that's hospitalization. We need this. Okay. I see you. I don't know if we need four beds. I think for now we're going to try to work with three. We may make a change here, but I think we can squeeze the doctor's office in this space 
and it still be okay. All right, so in an ICU, what do we need? Well, we need a whole bunch of crap. Disinfectant dispenser we actually have conveniently right outside the door, and we're just gonna move that inside the door. Boom, and boom. We need a stretcher. Well, how convenient, we have one of those too. That's not a good place for it though. All right, change of plans. We're gonna move this over here. We're gonna move this right here. Okay, cool. Now, let's switch back over here. Uh, we need a hospital bed. We'll do a modern one. We're not gonna do high tech. Let's do a modern one. Okay, and that is not cheap. That's three thousand dollars. Boom. We need a bed socket. For now, I think we're just going to have one ICU bed unless... Well, part of the issue here is I need to get rid of these windows. So let's get rid of the windows. And then... I'm actually going to cannibalize parts from the ward over there too. So we got a bed, we have a bed socket. There's the new school, old school, new school. We kind of have these. So there's, there's that. Now, a table side or bedside table is pretty straightforward. Where is it? Square table. And loot. And okay, whatever. All right, we already have a hospital bed there. I don't know why that's still showing yellow. So we're gonna need a defibrillator. I think we've got extras of those kind of sitting around, maybe attached in places. Ah, we may have a crash cart that we could just put in there. Yeah, that saves money. Mm-hmm, I like it. Actually, I think I can put that right there. So, that takes care of the defibrillator. Equipment stuffs. Okay, got that. I see, see we need that. Chart board. Um, chart boards. We've got those laying around too. Um, chart board, chart board, chart board. We have two of them up here, I think. Let's grab one of those. And let's put that. Wait. Oh, there's no wall. There's no spoon. Put that right there. Okay. We need a life monitor. We we're going to get one of these and we're going to get it from this bed right here. Boop. And boop. Save that money. Those are not cheap. It's 2500 or 1500, 1600. Okay, so that's taken care of. Now, ventilators. Now we need a mobile workstation. We actually have two of those up here. So I don't think we need two of them. I think we could just put one here and take this one downstairs let's put it there for now so it got just gotta be in space fast usg i think this has to go on a table this is ultrasound dealio it's like that equipment cabinet If we could put that here. Like that. Like, why can't we put that there? Oh, not enough funds. Holy crap, how'd we get broke? Uh-oh. Hmm. All right, so we got to take another bank loan. Okay, that gets us some 
Geish to work with. Um, equipment cabinet. Let's go with this one. Okay, that takes care of that. Life support. Ooh. Got to have one of these three things. And this is mechanical ventilator. So that's $3,600. That's $1,599. That's $1,999. <laughs> and I don't know which one we want. Let's see. Oh, did I just buy that? I don't think I did. Okay. This one is the low price one. Well, that's an old school looking one. You know something? This is our ICU. Our ICU is going to kick. That's fancy. That's the one that hangs from the ceiling. It's got all kinds of schmutz. We're going to just go with this one. Okay. And then we need another like table or something. Dang it, people. Um, scrub shelf's going to be good. If we put that there. Uh, if we can do a cabinet with doors, that gives us a place to put this. I think. No. Okay. Then maybe we can put this on there. Yep, nice. And if we go here... I think we can put another one of these equipment tables. Uh, you know what? We're going to put it down here. And then this needs to go on that. And now... I don't know why it's saying we're missing equipment. We've got a modern hospital bed. I guess now we have the money. We might as well take two of them. Now it's turned off. Okay, now life support. We're going to go this one. Why is this? Wow. Okay. Then this was not required. This. Okay. I guess we got to have... can be placed here I guess it's this part we've got to have one each and then we're just going to go get that other piece from back over here off this bed and move it there why does it keep saying I have to have more equipment get out of here with that noise <sighs> okay so here we're going to take this we're going to rotate rotate back it up to here this nope this this actually let's put this out here we're gonna need these somewhere else this needs to be there um, I can go there and then this is going to be on call room for ICU and then we can see what we need here it doesn't say we need a bookshelf but One, two, three. Not much room to work with there. All right. We do have the computer desk here to relocate. And the 
chair. That's not it. Up to three. Okay. And that, I think, actually gives us all we need for the doctor's office, technically. Uh, we need a door. Okay. And then... I don't feel like there's really anything else we need to put in here. Honestly. We put, could put a cabinet. And then we could put a bookshelf over top of it. And it's a stupid little detail, but we can put a diploma above the desk. There. Okay. All right. So that takes care of the doctor's office. All right, sweet. So we are down to bare bones of what we need here. So this right here, uh, we brought in two new nurses up here, right? For hospitalization, we're gonna switch this nurse's station out. Um, wait, which is our Okay, Jane Moore, we're going to switch her to switch her department to ICU. And then this guy, Frank, we're going to switch him to ICU. And then this spot here, we're going to dezone, change to ICU. Rezone is a nurse's station. And here, put Jane on day shift and Frank on night shift. And that's pretty straightforward. ICU, I think we're going to change up the dress code. Nurses in pink, I think we're going to change that to brown. Janitors in gray, technologists in, whoops, brown. On-call doctors, they can be in I guess white's fine. Okay. And then the one other step we need to do here is change out this cleaning closet. And then this is uh, Chris, Chris and Chris, Christopher Gonzalez and Christopher Clark. So we're going to click on him and we're going to change him to ICU. Okay. And then we're going to change him to ICU. Okay. Now that changes the department. So then when we, oops, go here, we dezone this and we rezone the cleaning closet for ICU. Then when we click on it, we're going to see the Chris and Chris show. Uh, no, I mean, I just rezoned it for emergency. Oops. I'm going to switch this. Now, we go here. Do that. We can do that. We can do this. And do this. 
Okay. And in here, he's at home. He's on shift. Bob's your uncle. Everyone's happy, and we're off to work. So he changed up his his deal there. All right, we got two ICU beds. And we are in, a f oh, we don't have an ICU doctor though. So we're gonna have to hire someone. So let's go to management. We're gonna need two of them. I'll stare, McHarg, shoot, I gotta spend a thousand dollars. That cost a lot more than a thousand dollars. Hmm. Okay. I'll start as a resident. So that critical care medicine's the, the key piece here. He's 215, he's a good boss. Slow learner though. Maybe we can get him up to speed working overnights. These two have a long commute. That's people person, that's good. Resistance, slower levels, that's good. Hard worker, that's good. Loyal, that's good. So I don't think we wanna pay this much. So what I think we're gonna do is go with Kate Jackson from Charlie's Angels. She's 38%. And we'll bring her in on day shift. And then we get one more option here and that's Marie. And she's a night owl. Good God, she's expensive. And we'll put him on night shift. Okay, cool. Now, next episode, we'll look to get our um, training room up and running over here. Get that situated. Probably have to take a little more money out or we're just going to have to run it forward a little bit. We still have room for one more bed in observation. Oh my gosh. Natalie Baker. She's an observation. Oh, she needs great. So what we got to do is we're going to have to drag our tech in here. Carol Thomas. So Carol Thomas is going to have to come into work because this clown needs a scan at night. We can't just keep her stable until the daytime, so. But that we can work around. I'm not sure why we have this flashing. But we do have a functioning ICU. That's what matters as far as I'm concerned. Wait, no we don't. It says missing equipment. I think when we save this and we bump out, I think it'll fix it. So, speaking of, let's do that. This was going to be a short episode. Just fill in some time here. And then we're going to change this to six. So we got our ICU built. Hopefully that will square it away. And then we'll be good to go. So, gang, I appreciate you hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed this rather uh, truncated <laughs> live stream of Project Hospital. Now available on Steam from Oxymoron Games. Go check you some of this out. A lot of fun. Builder management and doctor simulator. So, uh, anyway, hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. Also join us on Discord, link in the description below, as is a link to our PayPal if you'd like to make a contribution to help support the channel. It's paypal.me slash games or something like that. It's, it's there, and we appreciate your support. Even with a like or just a comment below, if you've got questions, put those down below. Uh, anything uh, interacting with us helps the channel. So I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, 
I gotta take care of some business. We'll see if we live stream again tonight. Otherwise, we'll catch you another time. And I hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning. Wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond, I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out. <laughs>